President Joseph R. Biden spoke for a little over an hour in his first State of the Union address last night. The president opened his speech with an emotional tribute to the Ukrainian people standing up to the Russian invaders. Groups of citizens blocking tanks with their bodies, everyone from students to retirees to teachers, turned soldiers defending their homeland. The Ukrainian ambassador to the United States is here tonight, sitting with the First Lady. Let each of us, if you're able to stand, stand and send an unmistakable signal to the world. Biden also pitched for his stalled legislative agenda. That's why it's so important to pass the Bipartisan Innovation Act sitting in Congress that will make record investments in emerging technologies and American manufacturing. Let's cap the cost of insulin at $35 a month. Let's provide an investment tax credit to weatherize your home and your business, to be energy efficient and get a tax credit for it. Let's pass the Paycheck Fairness Act and paid leave. Let's pass the PRO Act. When a majority of workers want to form a union, they shouldn't be able to be stopped. Another key component of the president's speech is the effort he made to assure the American people he was not the hostage of the left. We should all agree the answer is not to defund the police. It's to fund the police. Fund them. Fund them. Tonight I call on the Senate to pass, pass the Freedom to Vote Act. Passed the John Lewis Act, Voting Rights Act. One of the initiatives the president announced last night to combat oil prices was his release of 30 million barrels of oil from the Strategic Oil Reserve. But before the president's speech was over, oil prices had already spiked up $5 a barrel in the Asian markets. Reporting for the Star News Network, this is Neil W. McCabe, Washington.